Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I'm going to be to be showing you how to divide mass floors and add a build a building envelope. Uh, before we get started, and if you're new to this channel, I would ask you to please like and uh, subscribe. It really helps me to keep making more uh, videos. And uh, if you haven't watched part one, uh, I will be leaving a link in the description below. And uh, without further ado, let's let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we uh, will be doing here is uh, dividing our uh, mass floors. This is a very simple process. Uh, first off, make sure you you have your uh, levels uh, drawn like we did in the uh, in the previous in the previous video. So to get started, you you just need to uh, click your uh, mass and go and go into mass floors. And here you want to select your two uh, levels and then 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 press OK and you uh, automatically have your uh, mass divided by its its force okay okay next up we need to go into our building envelope for those who do not know what uh, that is it uh, basically it consists of all the exterior walls the ground floor and of course the uh, roof okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna start off by by drawing the um, the uh, floor the floor slabs which will be this middle one and uh, and the uh, ground floor so ju just go into a uh, floor go go into floor by uh, face and then select one and two and then press a uh, create floor and now we and now we we have we have here our uh, basic our basic floor steps and, and if you want to change them just uh, press one and then control and select two and then here I'm going to change it to a more uh, beam and block 200 mil millimeter type. However, you can choose whichever type you uh, want. Okay, and mo moving on. Now, now we can check out the um, the uh, walls. So uh, the same process. We go here into our drop down menu, go wall by face, and then simply select one, two, three, and four. And in this case, since uh, since I want to to bring them to the outer axis. I'm just I'm just going to uh, hover over one one wall and then just go tab, select them all and then simply simply press uh, the space uh, bar to bring them outside like that. Okay, and now we uh, want to get the these two these two areas areas right. And to do this, I'm go I'm 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 going to go into uh, into top view after selecting my uh, ground ground floor and then go into edit boundary and here you, you simply want to stretch them outside or simply use the the align tool by by pressing a l and then select the the line where where you want to go first and then your line and the same process here so the, the line where where you want it to go and then the, the line to change it then press ok and now you can see that our slab now covers the entire building Okay. Uh, last but uh, n but uh, not least, we 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 can now we can now make our roof. So so same process. I'm gonna go here into roof on my architecture tab, and select roof by face. Now I will select th this one here and simply create roof. Okay. Now our roof has been uh, positioned properly. Uh, how however, I do want to change th this model, which I which I believe might 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 be too uh, thick. And I'm gonna go for something a little, a little bit, bit smaller, like the cold uh, roof concrete. Okay, looking a lot, a lot better. And uh, if you want to check out the, the, the interior of your uh, closed uh, block or envelope, simply go to your properties panel and select section box. And I will now select this box here, and then bring this arrow inside, and we can now see the interior of our uh, building. Okay guys, hope you liked this very small tutorial. We'll be back next time with the with the interior walls. Please do not forget to like and uh, subscribe and I hope to see you back here next time. Cheers!